Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you and thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant sign, but remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody. That is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. And I also wanted to say there's been an influx, a massive influx of loads of new subscribers. So if you are one of them, welcome to the Radiant Nation. Thank you so much for subscribing. For those of you that are continued subbies, you know Rafi loves you. And uh, I just want to say thank you all so much for being a part of Radiant Nation and sticking with me. Uh, and there's lots to come. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week, you have... Dun, dun, dun. Boom, the sun card, you better get it. I love, love, love to see this for you because it means that this week you get, like this can be a week of love, it can be a week of light, it can be a week of healing. Uh, remember the sun card adds strength and power to everything that it touches and it diminishes your challenges. So when you see this, especially as your key to the week, one of the ways that this can show up, yes, this could be wonderful happenings for you, but remember with the sun card as well as the key, sometimes it literally just means that you're gonna have a an easier week of it than you've had in a while uh, and I think you will all be here for this but I love to see this for you uh, so so lovely all right and obviously as many of you know I have a cancer moon so I am so so proud of that fact um, I really do love it and I, I genuinely believe that it has afforded me so many wonderful gifts in life so anyway rambling <clears throat> the sun card key to the week love it uh, now if you ever want to get a, a personal reading with me you can go to my website which is radiantreality.com there's a link for that in the description box below for your actions and options this week you've got the world card so for a lot of you this could literally be a week of travel right so that could be fantastic for you what it also suggests as well is there's some kind of illumination or reconnection to a community of some sort or there is the forging of a bond or a new connection of some kind that has a really good chance of bringing you or delivering you some kind of amazing result. So I'm totally here for that. Uh, the other thing was, remember the world card is, it's a graduation card. So in some way, shape or form, there is a big step forward or a big moment of advancement that shows up for you from here. Uh, the other thing that shows up for you with that world card in terms of the options that are available to you there is new communities new connections new uh, groups new group associations that can absolutely help you shine in some way shape or form so I'm totally here for this for you for your uh, communications and conversations you've got the five of pentacles so don't worry I know you see this as like, oh I can't believe it Okay, it's not the easiest of cards, it's not the lightest of cards, but you've got the Sun card, right? So whatever the challenges are, they move quickly. Now, the Five of Pentacles is a card of loss. Now, this could be some kind of uh, information, it could be some kind of news, etc., that makes its way to you, where you realize that there is gonna be something that you lose out on, or potentially something that you miss out on. This might be that through some kind of challenge, some you know schedule clash, or whatever the case might be, there might be something that you're not able to do, or something that you're able to move forward forward with. But while this card can see you out of pocket, because you've got the Sun card, this really is some sort of protection, right? You know, they say rejection is God's protection. Whatever you are unable to make this week, whatever you're unable to do or to fulfill, don't worry. It's not the only bite of the apple or the only chance that you're going to be able to do this thing. That's the first thing that I want to say. But it does suggest that you may not have been, and you know, I mean this out of all love or courtesy, you might not have been in the right place for this, right? Maybe for, you know, for any number of reasons, there is a reason that you're not able to make this, this thing happen or you're not able to fulfill this opportunity and it will be revealed in time and it will be a really good thing for you, all right? Like there'll be something else that comes out of it, trust me for that. When it comes to, uh, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, um, that five of pentacles may be a course that you wanted to take or that you wanted to add to the course that you're already studying is now closed. Maybe you don't get to go ahead with this. Uh, another way that this could show up is maybe the, the resources for it isn't there. Whatever the case might be, 
There, you are protected in not having the opportunity to do this thing. And with this influx of new communities, new connections anyway, the chances are this would have just been a hindrance more than anything else. Now, when it comes to those of you that are employed by somebody else, be careful with your physical self this week, right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, because this card can literally be like slips, trips, falls, etc. And like the example that I always give with the Five of Pentacles is like, let's say you work at a bar. If you twist your ankle, you ain't working no bar, right? Because when you work behind a bar, you've got to be able to get about everywhere easily, quickly. Do you know what I mean? Like you have to, you've got to be very mobile. Or like for me, you know, touch wood, I'm a tower reader for the most part. So if I, you know, trash my hand and absolutely, you know, broke all my fingers or whatever, it would be really hard for me to shuffle. You know, Rafi would find a way, but that's not the point. <laughs> all right? um, now, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this could be, uh, let's say, you have an influx of business that's so great that you're kind of like, okay, I've got too many appointments now. I can't take, I can't possibly take on another thing. Um, and I will say if that is the case and you're at capacity, don't add more capacity just for the sake of adding numbers because the chances are you'll end up doing something detrimental to your health, all right? So you have to really look after yourself at this time. Now, when it comes to those of you that are retired, this is, you guys are the ones that I am sort of most worried about because this could be a slip, a trip, or a fall, but this could also be news of a slip, a trip, or a fall, uh, and it will likely be somebody that is older, all right? So just something to be mindful of this week. Now, uh, before we get into your love and relations, I do want to mention that the clearing cohort opens on the fourth or the fourteenth of January. This month's clearing cohort is all centered around fear. You're going to see. Uh, I'm going to be talking about this. There'll be uh, content around this and whatnot. But. Every month I will be opening up one clearing cohort uh, and it's gonna be specifically and exclusively just for eight people. The reason I'm keeping it so small and so contained is one, because I want the energy to be really strong and two, because I wanna make sure I'm giving you uh, information and input that is specifically and solely for you. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot that's going into this. I'm gonna be looking at charts. I'm gonna be looking at you know, astrology charts. I'm gonna be looking at numerology. I'm gonna be looking specifically at you. So everything that we do is going to be tailored to just the people that are present. And for that reason, I'm keeping this group deliberately small. And also because it's energy work based, we want to make sure that this is, you know, energy work is deep. So we want to make sure that it's clean. Uh, and this is all about clearing, right? So clearing cohort, that's what this is about. Uh, once a month, if this is, uh, if you're interested in this, if you took or um, purchased my new year, new frequency, and you loved that, you are are going to love this, all right? With that said, uh, for your love and relations, you have the Temperance card. I actually really like that. So for those of you that are partnered, married, or in long-term commitments, this could be that your partner's health has been challenging or has you've had problems or issues with that, and it's now starting to improve. I'm totally here for this for you. Um, what I will say with this Temperance card and the World card as well, there's a chance here that you're like, let's say you don't get on with your in-laws or your partner doesn't get on with their in-laws and all of that. If you've had th those kinds of issues, groups could be mended this week. It's not gonna be that you're all sitting around the fire singing Kumbaya, but it does suggest that there are remedial actions taken by everybody and everybody's kind of coming down a notch. It may very well be that there is, and I hope this isn't the case, but it is possible, it might be, and this is that blessing in disguise kind of thing, right? Maybe something happens to uh, somebody, maybe an elderly person has a knock, a slip, a trip, or a fall, etc., and that brings the family together where there have been problems, challenges, or issues, okay? So I love to see this, actually. Now, not, you know, I don't want to see anybody get hurt or whatever, but I love to see people coming back together. For those of you that are single and looking, that temperance card, especially with the sun, this is you working on yourself this week, right? It's like you're in a state of flux, change, or adaptation, and for that reason, you're like, you know what, let me not bring anybody else new into this right now while I get myself into the space of alignment, after which you will attract the partner that is ready for you, all right? For your money and materials, wow, you've got the ten of cups, so look, your money 
is doing fantastic things this week. There's boosts to the finances. There is wishes fulfilled, especially where it comes to things that you've wanted to sell, things that you've wanted to create, things that you're putting out into the world. My Cancer Moon is currently like, what, what? <laughs> right? So the love this. And with the Sun card, that is like your money is blessed. Like this is some kind of big financial, you know, and potentially abundant um, boost to the resources this week. But look, even with this five of pentacles, right, there are, there's, it kind of just feels like it's a blessing in disguise. This would have just been one thing too many. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the ten of cups is a really good card for healing, but it does suggest that this is a week where you are meant to rest, recuperate, to really regather and regenerate from those internal spaces. Providing you do that this week, I actually think that your health can be very good moving forward. Finally, when it comes to your home and environment, you couldn't ask for a better card for home. This is the card of home. This is you finding a home, finding home within yourself. This is you finding home after something felt like it was broken or damaged or not, you know, fixed or out of alignment. Like this week you find that. So with that said, it looks like a fantastic week, but you'll have to let me know how it goes in the comments. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I'll see you soon.